guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel it's Celine here um the other day I actually filmed a leg and butt workout but I forgot to explain what I did so I'm just gonna talk through what I did and then insert the clips um it was really nice out last week so I filmed it in my backyard um it's a no equipment workout. I used resistance bands, but you don't have to use it. I just like the intensity it adds to the workout. You can try it if you want. It's just random leg workouts that I felt like doing. And you can always modify it or do less reps or more reps, less sets, whatever you feel will work for you. If you want to do this workout, I don't know. I put up a poll a couple weeks ago and asked what kind of videos people wanted and the highest voted one was workouts. I don't really know what workouts I can film at home without a gym. Um, legs is the only thing I can really think of. Like, I feel like arms and back and everything you need equipment. I do have some dumbbells, but that's it. So if you want any other type of workout, comment down below. I'm happy to do it, but I just don't know what kind of workouts you guys want to see. So let me know and I can do that. Just a disclaimer, I am not a personal trainer. Um, I just enjoy working out personally as a hobby and it's good for my mental health. And it makes me feel good after, so I just like to do it, but you guys said you wanted to see workouts, which is why I filmed it, but um, my form might not be perfect. and. I might be doing the workouts wrong, but this is just how I do it and how it works for me. So let's get into the workout. I have it all on my phone, what I did, so that's why I'm looking at it. So whenever I do a leg or glute day, I always start off with glute activation. Um, I do a couple things. I usually change it up, but I always use a resistance band and I find that it helps um, activate my glutes and and I can feel everything more in my workout. You don't have to do this, but I find it helpful. Um, I have two resistance bands. They're both from Peach Bands. They're a little bit pricey, but I like them. The one is like the plasticky material. It came with like three for easy, medium, and hard, but I gave the other two to my friend because I only used the hard one. But because I used it so often, it kinda, I don't really feel it anymore. So I bought the fabric one, which is really tough. Like I can barely spread my legs apart with it on, so I really like it, but if you're new, buy the plasticky ones. I don't know what they're called, but they work. When I first started working out, it was intense for me, but then it became too easy as I kept using them. But it's totally up to you. So the first thing I did was um, banded squats. You can do this with or without the band. I did three sets of 10 just to sort of activate the glutes. And then I did banded crab walks, or you could call them like side walk. I don't know, actually, never mind. Um, you kind of just squat and then walk side to side. 
Um, if you have a lot of space, you could do like five steps to the left, five steps to the right, which is what I did. I did three sets of those. I can't remember how many times I walked back and forth, but I did it three times. The next thing I did was banded kickback. So I just stood there um, and then kind of kicked one leg back. If you do do it with a band, you'll feel it a lot more. And if you need something to help you balance, you can do it against the wall and just push on the, like put your arms on the wall, then do the kickback. And I did three sets of 10 for each leg. And then I did the same thing, but with the side. So I did like a side abductor. You can also do that against a wall if you need the stability. That one you just kind of stand there and then take the one leg and kick it out to the side. And with the band, you can feel it a lot more. I also did three sets of 10 on each leg. I always do hip thrusts. They're the one thing that I personally think works the best, but if you don't have weights, it's kind of hard to do it. But um, I always do them in my activation. So I did three types. So the first one I did regular hip thrusts and I did three sets of 10. I did hip thrusts with abduction. So same thing, you lay down and then push up. But when you push up, push out your legs and with the band, you'll feel it a lot. And then push your legs back in before you go down. And I did three sets of 10 as well. And then the last hip thrust I did was hip thrust pulse. So you don't fully go back down all the way, you kind of just stay up, make sure your butt doesn't hit the ground. And I did three sets of 10 as well. And then the last thing I did in the activation was clamshells. I don't know if that's what you call it, but that's what I call it. So you kind of just lay on your side and then put the band on if you have one and then try and like open up your legs in like a clamshell kind of look. I think that's why it's called that. If you use the band, you'll definitely feel it. And I did three sets of 10 on each leg as well. And after doing all these glute activations, I definitely felt it. Um, so I knew I was ready for my workout. So the first thing I did was squat calf raises. I did three sets of 15. So you kind of just squat down and then I used one hand and tapped the opposite foot. And then when I came back up, I did a calf raise, so just kind of go on your tippy toes, then go back down into squats. And I just used my hand and tapped it to the other toe to just kind of help with balance, but you don't have to do that. And then I did curtsy lunges, which is like a lunge, but then you kind of put your back foot a little bit more to the side. It's hard to explain without doing it, but you can see in the video. Um, that really helps with the side glute, I feel like. And I did three sets of 15 for each leg. I get 50 to my cheek. And then I did some reverse lunges, which I think everyone knows how, but if you don't, just watch what I'm doing. Um, I also did three sets of 15 on those. And then after I did one and a half squats, so I did one squat, then kind of came up a tiny bit, then went back down and then back up. So you do like one full squat and then like a half a squat, if that makes sense. And I did three sets of 15 of those as well. And then I tried something new. I've done this at the gym, but on like a bench and you kind of have your body hanging off the bench so you have room to swing, but I tried to do it on the ground. It felt really uncomfortable, so I don't think I would do this again, but you could try it. <laughs> or if you have a bench or if you're doing it at home on a bed or couch or something, it probably will work better, but I did it, but it felt so weird because there's not a lot of momentum to swing your legs up. But if you do do it, you kind of just hang off the bed, whatever you're on, and make like your legs into the shape and like bring it up. 
I don't really know how to explain. I did one leg hip thrust, so it's basically the same thing as a hip thrust, but you put one leg up, keep one leg down, and then do the hip thrust. I did two sets of 15 of those. And then I did a pulse squat. So it's basically just doing a squat, but you don't fully come back up. You stay down, which really, really burns. And I did three sets of 15. And then the last thing I did was, I don't know what you call it. I call it a leg raise. You just kind of lay on your side and then have your one leg come up and down. Kind of like the clamshell, but your legs are straight. And I did two sets of 20 on each leg because I couldn't feel it that much, so I decided to do more reps. so you're notified every time I post a video. And if you're still watching, give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see more workouts or any suggestions on what kind of videos you want me to post or you want to see. And I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye. Shit is real.